Jump. Welcome to Rewind Sunday. Today, we're going to rewind back and recap one of our previous series we have done. Hmm. Now, we just have to choose which one we want to rewind to and recap. Let's have a look. We could do Faithful Friendships or ooh, Garden of the Mind. Hmm. I know. What about Super Sundays? I'm pretty sure it talked about my favorite memory verse, about how God can do more than what we can imagine and that we can encounter him and do mighty works through his Holy Spirit. Let's have a look. Yeah, it's time for the memory verse. Everybody stand up. We're about to party in here. It's a party with Jesus. Let's go, Tony. Let's go, Carlo. Let's go, Sprouts, Rockets and Jump. Two, three. All glory to God who is able through his mighty power working within us to achieve much, much, much more than we might ask or think, than we might ask or think. Now all glory to God who is able through his mighty power working within us to achieve much, much, much more than we might ask or think then we might ask or think Ephesians 3.20 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 Oh man, I don't think y'all get this. He's able to do infinitely more than we can ask or think according to His power at work within us. Man, give Him some glory. I got to sing about this. Let's go. Now, all oh, glory to God who is able to his mighty power working within us to achieve much, much, much more than we might ask or think, than we might ask or think. Ephesians 3.20, Ephesians 3.20, Ephesians 3.20. Ephesians 3.20, Ephesians 3.20. Ephesians 3.20, Ephesians 3.20, Ephesians 3.20 I love that scripture. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 20. Now to God who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us. Wow, now that is a pretty powerful scripture right there. In the NIV translation, it uses the word infinitely, that God is able to do infinitely more than what we can ask or think. Now, I wonder if we could calculate how infinitely much more God is able to do than we think or ask. Let me just get my calculator. Now, I don't know. Hmm. We could do like two plus two times. Oh, I don't know even how to calculate that. Let's go see if my friend Gizmo, the smart robot, can calculate it for us. Hmm, infinitely more. I wonder how much that is. And this is why I had Professor Quantum update my mathematical programming. Okay, multiply that by three and then carry that and then we are divide by the radius of Saturn, multiply by the force of volume gravity, the speed of moonlight, then transmogrify pi to the 78th the limit power. does not exist inside relative space Subtract to the power of the average squared. velocity infinitely over displaced over changing time more. to infinitely infinitely more. Infinitely more. Infinitely infinitely more. Infinitely 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 more. Even with my new advanced mathematical circuitry, it would take me trillions and trillions of years to calculate all of the different things that God can accomplish. And even then, I still would not be able to count all that he can do. It is more than we can ever imagine. Infinitely more. Wow, not even Gizmo is able to calculate how much God is able to do. Our God is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, infinitely, and immeasurably more than what we can ask or think. In other words, we can never fully calculate how much our God can do in our lives 
and in the people's lives around us when we pray or communicate with him. Do you sometimes get discouraged when you pray or pray but don't seem to get the answers you want? In verse 20, it says that God is able. Say, God is able. That's right. God is able to answer your prayers. Not just a teeny tiny bit, but exceedingly, abundantly, infinitely, and immeasurably more than we can ask or think. See, when we as believers of God pray to God, his power to respond is beyond anything we could ask or think. Nothing is too hard for God. We can pray big prayers to God and believe that he will answer them. He may not answer every prayer to the tune or timing of our desires, but he hears every single word and does answer according to his will. Jump, do you have the faith for it? Do you believe that God can and will answer your prayers? Jesus tells us in Matthew 17, 20 to 21, if you have faith the size of a mustard seed, you can tell a mountain to move and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. See, a small amount of faith, as teeny tiny as a mustard seed, can accomplish great things. If that small amount of faith is placed into a great and mighty and faithful God. Knowing God can do exceedingly more than we can imagine encourages us to go to God with great faith. Knowing God can do anything he wishes according to his mercy, grace, love, and will. God does exceedingly more than we can imagine out of his own power and the power of his Holy Spirit. Ephesians 3.20 ends with, he can do exceedingly more according to God's power working within us. The work of his Holy Spirit works through us as people of faith, not by our own power or good deed, but through his power, the Holy Spirit. See, God is God. He is almighty and infinite and his plan is perfect. God's Holy Spirit lives within those of us who believe and through the power of his Holy Spirit works mighty miracles. Yesterday, today, tomorrow and forever. Jump through your prayers, through your faith. God can do infinitely, exceedingly and abundantly more than what you could ever imagine through his Holy Spirit that lives within you. We're about to end, but before we do, I wanna take this moment to bring our requests and prayers to God. Maybe there is someone in your life that needs healing, or maybe you are struggling with friendship or school, or maybe you just wanna encounter God or feel his presence. Whatever it is, let's take this time to bring those requests to God. Let us come with whatever size faith we have and believe that God is going to do exceedingly and abundantly more than what we could ask or think. Before we do that, I want to pray for you. Let's close our eyes and bow our heads. Lord, I just thank you that we can come into your holy presence. Father, that we can pray to you and believe that you are going to do exceedingly and abundantly more than we could ever think or ask. So Father, as we bring these requests to you, Lord, I pray that you move, God, that you hear our prayers and that you answer them in your will. We lift them up to you in Jesus' name. And everyone said, Amen. So jump, we're going to go into a time of worship. And in this time, I encourage you to lift up your request to God and believe that he will move in that area whether it's healing for friends or family, or you want to encounter God right here, right now. Whatever it is, take this time to speak to Him. You may want to go on your knees or lift up your hands. However you need to posture yourself before God, I encourage you to do that now. There's nothing worth more that will ever come close. No thing can compare. 
you're our living hope. Your presence, Lord. I've tasted and seen of the sweetest of loves, where my heart becomes free and my shame is undone in your presence Lord Holy Spirit you are welcome here come flood this place and fill the atmosphere your glory what our hearts long 